Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I will also throw my Instagram name up on the screen. If you'd like to follow me there, I'm currently doing 100 days of makeup. All right, so today is so exciting because I'm doing yet again another collab with my friend Max here on YouTube. You guys can go check out her YouTube channel as well and her Instagram. I will have them both linked down at the very beginning of the description box as well as my own Instagram if you guys would like to go follow me. You will find her on my page too because I will be posting about our collab. But if you guys didn't know, me and Max have been friends for a good long while now. I feel like we started talking the very end of 2017 or the very beginning of 2018 and we kind of started like commenting on each other's pictures and liking and then we ended up like messaging each other and we've just become really good friends ever since. I have personally wanted to become a YouTuber since 2013. The reason I say this is because when I had my son, my first son, in 2013, it was August and I then was nursing. So I was up every two hours with him and I would nurse him and then I would pump and literally between nursing and then pumping for like 30 minutes and then going back to sleep, you don't have much time to sleep before the baby's back up. So literally my nights were spent watching YouTube videos and I fell in love with it. And even then in the back of my mind, I always thought I would absolutely love to do that. I would love to get more into makeup because I absolutely loved makeup, but I just kind of had like the few products of mine that I was obsessed with, that I used, and my collection wasn't like huge or anything like that. I've always wanted to do it ever since then, and I found Jaclyn Hill around that time, and Shannon XO, and those two have really stuck with me when it comes to what I've watched ever since then. They're really big inspirations to me. They always have been. And I have fallen in love with so many more YouTubers along the way that have just inspired me even more. And the end of 2017, I was telling my husband, you know, I really wanna do this. I had been doing a blog that past year and I loved it and I loved blogging, but I wanted something more to where I would be able to sit down and talk and be able to show my passion for makeup to other people as well and share it with them. You know, me and Max had talked back and forth for a while and I had just bought a ring light and we had our camera and all that and I didn't know what quality I was going to get with it. So I was really nervous and I was like, maybe I shouldn't do this. You know, I don't think it's gonna be good enough. I was really doubting myself and I seen that she posted her first YouTube video. She posted her first one on February 13th of 2018. And I was so stoked for her. I was so excited for her. And I told her, I was like, oh my gosh, I've been wanting to do this. You know, I've got my stuff together. I have really wanted to start my YouTube channel and I just haven't had that push, but you really have inspired me to do this. And she really was an inspiration to me to get my YouTube channel going as well. And I ended up posting my very first YouTube video on the 17th of February. So we are back to back when we first started. So that is why we wanted to do this collab today. I know my intro is very long and I apologize, but I kind of wanted to say a little bit of a backstory because it really is special to me. And I may not have thousands of followers and, you know, hundreds of views, but I am so incredibly thankful for everyone who clicks onto my channel and has watched me grown with my channel. <sighs> Let me tell you guys, today for our collab, we are recreating our first makeup look that we did on our channels. And now I'm not talking about our subscription unboxings and subscription try-ons and stuff like that that we were so into when we started our channels. I'm talking about the first time we sat down and showed you guys what we were doing and we're kind of just like getting ready. So I will have her video linked down below if you guys wanna go check it out. She is amazing, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump into mine. So the video that I picked was my very first first impressions on my channel. And sadly, when you jump onto the video, my makeup is completely done besides my lipstick and my eyes. So my foundation, all of my base makeup is completely done. I'm not 100% sure what products I even used, but I'm going to try to just roll with it anyways. 
but I'm going to be using products that I know I used back at that time that I still absolutely love. So my brows are done. I used Anastasia because they were my holy grail forever. I used the brow definer in the shade taupe and the clear brow gel is amazing. So for primer, I did throw on some Too Faced Hangover primer because you guys know, I talk about it a lot, but that really was my holy grail for so long even then. So I already did have my base on, but for this video, I'm going to start with my eyes first because that's the way I've been doing it now. I am going to be recreating this look, but I am going to be showing you guys a little bit more of what I would be doing now instead of what I was doing then, what I've even grown and learned from from then. So you guys know I'm going to be concealing my eyes with some concealer. <laughs> I'm going to be doing step by step what I did with my eyes, but I'm going to be doing it in a way that I apply my makeup now so we can kind of see the glow up from this. But it was my very first impressions on Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It was the first time I was even trying his products out and it is so crazy because I have really grown my collection with quite a few Jeffree Star products now. I absolutely love his products, but I used the beautiful Beauty Killer palette for this video, and you guys may remember it if you've been a longtime subscriber. It is so cringeworthy. I look back at my first videos, and even though some of my newer videos, they're still gonna be cringeworthy to me because I'm watching myself. But I go back to those videos, and I had music blasting the whole time, and I'm literally like talking so quiet the whole time because I'm so afraid that I'm gonna be so loud and. Now it's just like I tweak everything and my editing anyways, and it's still not perfect. I'm still learning every single day and nothing is perfect. I wish it was more perfect, but this is still raw me, the very beginning of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this. The first shade that I took is the Courtney shade and I took this transition shade, my crease. I also just want to say if you go back and you see this video my lighting the quality all of that is so much worse I'm still always trying to find out new techniques and ways to make my audio the picture quality lighting all of that better but since that video I have updated cameras and I have really worked on my editing since then um, it was very choppy and not my best work. So I am a lot more happy with my editing now. I know it's not perfect, but it is something that I'm happy about now. I'm at like a happy place with it and I, where I don't mind it. I like the music playing over parts so it's not quiet, awkward, and also so it doesn't get as boring <laughs> as it could be without any music playing in the background. After that, I took Star Power, which is the hot pink in this palette. I actually used this brush, I believe. It is an angle shader from Royal and Langnickel. And I took this hot pink shade and I popped it right into my outer corner and then blended it into my crease. I did notice in the video that it is a little patchy in spots. I did not blend it really well, so I'm really gonna work on that in this video because I know this formula, I know that it blends out really well, so I just think I needed to spend a little bit more time on it when I didn't back then. From there I took China White and I placed this in my inner corner and on my brow bone as a highlight. I remember really liking this as a matte highlighter and I still do to this day. I've used that China White shade so much that there's like a dent in it and you can't even like really see the star impression into it anymore. go back into the blender brush and just blend up by that highlight. And then with a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna go into the princess shade right here. But I remember, I think this went on pretty good with the brush, but I might go with my finger now just to bring a little bit more pigment to the look. All 
right, now I'm gonna jump into the rest of my face. I already feel like it's so much more pigmented and more vibrant now than it was back then. But I really do like this look. I am gonna go into my foundation and my holy grail back then was definitely my Rainforest of the Sea water foundation from Tarte. So I'm gonna go into this. foundation is in the shade Fair Neutral and then I'm going to go back into my concealer which is the Tarte Shape Tape. This is the shade Fair. Powder is going to be of course my Laura Mercy A powder. This was the hype for so long. It still pretty much is. I don't really know anybody that does not like Laura Mercier powder if they've tried it. But I'm going to go back and forth like I do nowadays because I do want this to turn out really good, but I have always loved Shape Tape. I feel like it is such a beautiful formula, and although I have found some really close dupes and some really good concealer scents, I just, nothing compares to Shape Tape, nothing. I absolutely love this stuff. Now I'm gonna go back into the Beauty Killer palette and I'm gonna take the shade Courtney again, but I'm going to take it on the angled brush. And pretty much what I did in the video was I took Courtney, which is the transition shade. I ran it along my lower lash line and then I went into the Star Power pink shade and ran that along my lower lash line lightly is what I said. <laughs> Okay, so back in that time, I absolutely love the Tardis Pro Glow To Go palette from Tarte. This is just a little travel size contour and then two highlighters. And I like them different ways, but back in that time, I always just use the top highlighter, which is called Gleam. And then Chisel is the bottom one. This palette has seen better days, but I've had this for so long and I absolutely love it. This is what I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna contour with the Chisel shade and then highlight with the Gleam shade. And then for blush, I'm gonna go into this blush palette right here that I bought. I believe I bought this in the holiday time of 2017, I think is when this palette came out. I don't know what shade I used for that look, but I'm gonna go into Skillful, I believe, is the one that I used to use all the time, which is right there. I loved that shade, so I'm gonna go into it. So back in the day, I would have most likely used MAC Fix Plus to set my face. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I am going to curl my lashes and then throw on mascara. I'm not gonna do falsies because I wanna keep this look as similar to that look as possible. And I didn't use falsies in that look. I did use the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and I have thrown that one away by now, of course, because that was a year ago. After I threw that one away, I had not used it since. But I forgot I had bought one and I had a backup of it this whole time. But since I was trying to get through mascaras, I hadn't opened it yet. So I am going to be using this one today since I used it in this look a year ago. It was just in the all purple glitter packaging, but this is the regular packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on. And the lip color of choice I used back then was the Calabasas Velour Liquid Lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics as well. I did a whole lip swatch video on the mini pink and red set and this was one of them. I absolutely love this shade. I forgot how much I really loved this mascara. 
but this is the completed look. My thoughts are completely different on this look. I really like this makeup look. I feel like it's a very pop of color, bam, in your face look. But I don't know. I feel like I personally wouldn't pair this lip with this eye shade anymore. I know there's still like some looks that I'll do and I'll look back at them and I'm like, man, I really wish I would have just went with a nude or, you know, that kind of thing, which never was me. I feel like the eye look is really pretty. And I mean, I also love the lip shade too. I just think together, this isn't typically something that I would pair together anymore. I think it's really fun. And again, another like flirty pink look, which would have been great for Valentine's Day. But I do like this look a lot. I feel like it is definitely more improved now than what it was then. I feel like it's more pigmented, more put together better than back then for sure. So I am excited that I have grown more with makeup and I'm hoping I can get some good shots of this to do kind of like a glow up post on my Instagram. But yeah, it's definitely a pretty look and my thoughts are still the same on the palette and the Galore Liquid Lipstick. I absolutely love them. They're the eyeshadow formula blends so nicely. It's so pigmented, so beautiful. And the Velour Liquid Lipsticks is, to this day are still my favorite liquid lipstick formula. They are amazing. Yeah, I'm super excited to see Max's video. I cannot wait to see her look and how she did on it. And of course, to collab with her again in the future. But if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys go click over on Max's video and check it out and give her some love. And subscribe to both of our channels. We would really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one.